Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this logo, and it is really bad. It is really pixelized and doesn't trace good. And I started thinking, and I just did this for the very first time, uh, almost kind of impressed myself that it worked out so well, and I would do a few changes. Then the problem is you'd have to do this three times because these things are not equal ovals. But what I did, I took a red hairline and got it relatively in the middle. And when I said it's not a complete oval, it's because it's not. Uh, you could maybe play around with this thing and take that oval and stretch it out a little bit and you'd have to lock You'd have to lock your logo. So let's just try it real quick. Let's lock that logo so we can't grab it. And let's just kind of stretch our circle to get it more in the path of that logo. And that looks pretty good. So let's just move this one out of the way. And this is how I did it. So I made that logo but I need a stopping point. So I'm gonna take a two point line and I'm gonna draw it. Didn't do very good, I'm gonna to have to zoom in here. Take a two point line and draw a line there and draw a line there. Take our virtual segment delete key and delete that little line. This seems like it's pretty in depth, but it really works. I'm gonna, this logo is like, 20 inches, so I'm gonna make my nuts factor 22, and I'm gonna grab our red circle and I'm gonna hit out of the way. Now I need to find the length of this curve. And I did change it to a curve, I was just gonna make sure. Go to Windows, Dockers, Properties, and click on, and we get 65.128. I'm gonna to have to write that down. 65.28108, don't have to be that precise. Because the reason we need that, we need to build this section of box or this, this graphic. And we'll just take the virtual segment delete key. No, we'll take the parallel dimension key tool and we're gonna go, let's go 1.94. So we need a rectangle. A hundred and or six five six five point two eight one oh eight. But we also need it to be one point nine five or four. Okay. Now one thing I did different in the in the first one I tried. So this is the width of our deal. We need to slow this down or slope this down. I went too far, I went to a point. So we're gonna, I did not convert it to a curve. So we need, and I'm just gonna have to bring it on down on board calculator, 1.94 divided by two is 0.97. But we don't wanna go all the way we want to leave this a little bit thick on the first part. I moved this and I'll just show you what I did. I'm going to change my nudge factor to 0.97. And then I, with the shape tool, move that up to 0.97. But I got too much of a point. So let's back up here. Let's make our nudge. Uh, 0.9, okay, move that up, 0.9. I'm just hitting the up arrow key and the down arrow key, and I've got a little bit of a space there. That's what we want. I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. I'm gonna move that away because I need that shape. Don't really need this anymore, but I keep it for later. 
Now we're going to reverse this. As you can see, this is going to, well, let's don't. Let's see what happens. Now we need to go to the artistic media tool, grab the brush, and save this brush stroke. I've already got one called circle line, but I'm gonna go circle line two, because we made it a little bit different. Now, here's the key. That brush is in there. We need to click on it. Let's, let's zoom in here. It is actually there, but you can't see it till you move a little bit. And we actually need to change this to 1.94, remember? Now it did in reverse so we can get out of this. I know this seemed a little confusing. Let's convert it to a, convert that to a curve so we can move that out of the way. So we can mirror it. Now we need to rotate it Kind of like, and also what I want to do is I want to left click, right click. There's a line there when the artistic media works that could cause you a problem. You can see it. I think you have to go to up and break it apart and get that line out of there. Now we still have our red line in there. Now I can rotate this guy to make it look like that logo. And if you wanted to, that's pretty close. Now, I don't think this will work in progressive to just move this down. But I want you to see how sharp, clean this is versus this. So you'd have to do that three more times because I don't really think you could go control D and make it progressively smaller holding down the shift key and then control D again and you'd have to resize those because they're all a little bit different. You know, the other one was 1.94, this was 1.87. This is point 1.6 or 1.7. And they might be progressively smaller, but I think you would probably waste more time moving them in and out than just redrawing them. But I think that particular one is dead on. So if you did that three more times, you would have that logo and just do the same thing with your circle. He already has the font. He showed me a picture of what he's got. And uh, he's trying to engrave this on a number. That's what I would do. Of course, it's not gonna be blue, it's gonna be black. I was just doing that for grins to make it look like the logo. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.